I work with Akira Chicks and I'm very glad that all of you have managed to come in the morning, brave the traffic and woken up early. Um, I'll go through the topics of today's hackathon. We have physical security and this one is mainly dealing with crime, um, crime rates in Kenya and if you have ideas of how we can fix this, um, there's also the Nyubakumi initiative which is com a community policing initiative. So basically the question is, um, what role can technology play in remedying or curbing criminal activity or its deadly consequences in Kenya? Um, then the second thing is food security. And this one, I'll just read the question, and is there an opportunity for technology to bridge um, the gap and curb food shortages facing certain communities? So um, you can talk to John in this case because he deals a lot with food security and he works with farmers. And then we have cyber security. What role can technology play in preventing cyber attacks? How can citizens better protect themselves? My name is Veronica and my team. And we were doing civic education. We were doing civic education and water engagement. So basically our group was tackling how to enlighten more people to vote, to know their rights, to know their political system, to know why they need to vote, to know about the contestants, the roles of the people they are voting for and what to expect. There are some people who may not register as voters because of uh, the distance where the station is. So I think does does this solve a problem whereby I can even register where I am like it is down line is a voter or something like that. Currently Kenya doesn't even do the, the registration online. I have no idea why it doesn't do that. Even IDC can't do that. So unless they are we are authorized, IDC is authorized, then maybe we could also do it. Very good job to everyone. Uh, that was quite uh, exemplary. Um, my feedback goes over and above today. I think, try and think of the lifetime value that your product has. Don't give up. Um, that fire that you have, continue burning it and continue pursuing it. You know, because in failure is where you have the toughest lessons and you will never make those same mistakes again. So, irrespective of, we, never, we don't have losers today. Yeah, so everyone is a winner. Uh, make sure that you continue pursuing it uh, relentlessly. And make sure you see the end of it, okay? So if you need to consult, um, you know where to find us, you know where to find the relevant help. But don't give up. That's my message. Just don't give up. Keep pushing. You're doing a very good job. Thank you very much. So I think you've all had the judges' remarks. And I will not start uh, going through them again. So the winners will get a cash price. But uh, the cash price is that we are not going to give it to you like today and you go to Mr. Price and such kind of things <laughs> or a new phone. No. Your cash price is tied to some money stocks. Really? You only get money when you do that. Like when you deliver. When you deliver a product, meaning it has to work. If you're busy, you're busy using easy chat. If you're seven months here, then they need to be shut down. People need to be using what? Easy chat. As in, many people, the whole country needs to be using easy chat. I liked coming for this hackathon because I knew I was going to get a new experience. It's my first hackathon here. My motivation to come was that it was an all female thing. So I wanted to meet new female techies and socialize and challenge myself. So we have done some cyber security things. We were working on a solution to verify that when you want to withdraw money, you need to enter a verification code so that people cannot just withdraw money as long as they have your pin or details. So yeah, it's been fun, it's been real. Looking forward to another hackathon like this. Hi, my name is Berti Said. Uh, I'm attending the, we've actually finished the third hackathon for Akira Chicks. Uh, it's been really a good experience. I've really learned a lot. The networking part with fellow women in technology, it's really amazing. And I thank you, Akira Chicks.